Uh, despite all the hoopla and attention given Apple, the fact of the matter is in the smartphone market itself, I'm talking worldwide, it significantly trails rivals Samsung that has a host of products, and in fact, a lot of very expensive products. For example, the Galaxy Note uh, is about a 6.4-inch uh, uh, screen. Uh, this hopefully is one that Apple says it can top with a larger screen than that. Having said all of that, there are a variety of Samsung Galaxy devices, the SS Plus. So there are a lot more of them, and they're in the hands in Asia where they're a lot more popular, which accounts for that worldwide market share. Now let's get the view from MarketWatch tech editor Jeremy Owens on uh, whether that dynamic it will change uh, with these announcements today. What do you think, Jeremy? I don't think so. I think Apple is always going to be kind of a niche, high-end product. And that's why you see them continuing to step up that price. If the reports are true that that 10s Max is going to start off at $1,100, that's a lot more revenue and profit for Apple. And even though they don't have the entire market to themselves, they are going to command most of the profit and most of the revenue because their phones are so much more expensive and have so much of a better margin. You know, it used to be that $1,000 threshold was such a big deal when, when we, we got Apple up to that level with, you know, a souped-up one with all the memory you could possibly get, et cetera. Uh, then Samsung crossed it with a, a similarly loaded Galaxy S Plus, then a Note, now north mm -hmm. of 1,200 if you, if you throw in everything here. Is it, 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 obviously, people are buying at that price point, um, but does it cannibalize all of other things? Well, I don't think so. I mean, if you have the entire lineup, then you can go ahead and say, we've got something for everybody. Anybody right. who wants something can find a phone, right? So I don't think, it, you know, Apple has not found a way to stop selling iPhones yet. You know, every no, time no, they have right one of these that. events. In fact, they're all succeeding, yeah. right? You can make the argument that yeah. Samsung with its Galaxy offerings and some of these uh, Google uh, Pixel phones and the rest, uh, there are a lot of them and there are a lot of customers for them. Uh, Apple has this niche appeal here, but do you see anything changing in the dynamics that you've heard today? I mean, really, the only thing I've seen changing over the last year or so is the, the rise of the Chinese uh, manufacturers in, in Huawei and Xiaomi. And Huawei, in fact, looks like they have gone ahead of Apple in overall market share worldwide. So the question is if they're going to be able to battle them and Samsung at the same time, as well as all the others that are coming for it. You know, some of these other announcements that we were told of, a, maybe a new iPad offering, a revamped watch that might just be not physically larger, but the screen itself will be larger, might offer a lot of more health benefits, uh, almost like a heart tracker, a heart based tracker and all of that. Mm -hmm. Will that change the dynamics any? I don't know. We're going to have to see because the Apple Watch, when they added solo cellular capabilities in the last version, that was supposed to be the big game changer that got this to be a uh, more common consumer device. And we haven't seen that yet. And in fact, we've seen that the Series 1 Apple Watch may have outsold the Series 3 over the last quarter. Mm. So if that was the game changer, the game hasn't really been changed. So we'll see if the, they can do anything today to change that. You know, Jeremy, my problem with the Apple Watch uh, is... It, it, you have to constantly charge it. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe I, I get a day or two tops out of it. Um, and for a lot of people that want it monitoring them when they sleep and all that other stuff, I mean, if they could address that, they'd go a long way toward addressing inroads, for example, that Samsung has made in the same arena. Uh, maybe not, uh, but it's an annoying thing to me, the, the battery power issue. What do you think? For sure. And that, that's a complaint on every one of these uh, events that they have, where they're talking about the thinness. And right, we're two right. millimeters thinner, and our <laughs> screen is nicer and brighter, and then the battery is still the same, if not worse, because it's supporting the thinness and the, and the brighter screen and the nicer screen and everything. So, it, But, you know, that, that is, Apple gets to do whatever it wants to do because it continues to sell this ridiculous amount of phones with all of this profit. And as long as they continue to get rewarded for what they're doing, they're going to continue you doing it right and and so that they're going to stay with that same track i think um real quickly i'm, I'm reminded about the, the late great steve jobs and how he handles and the marketing blitz of course he had uh some some products that didn't do well at least in some of these others that uh, big mm -hmm. announcements that didn't fetch nearly the attention that later products did but it, he made them vital purchases that you had to do for the sense of style ease of use whatever is it your sense that Apple still has a lock on that or are others playing catch up here? I think Apple has developed this ecosystem of products and software that is really hard to top. But as a consumer, if you're not 
completely bought into that ecosystem, you can't avoid it. You know, and and you can buy an iPhone and have a, a Word a computer and an Android tablet if you want. But if you want to go all in on Apple, Apple has set it up to make it extremely easy and, and good for consumers. So as long as they continue to do that and continue to come out with new products that their super fans will buy and they can offer at their retail stores, they're going to be really hard to beat. Well put. Uh, Jeremy, thank you for taking the time. I know you're pretty busy today, so I do appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Owens, the Market Watch tech editor at San Francisco uh, Bureau Chief in San Thanks Francisco. Thanks for having me, Neil. Here.